welcome to, to the pew. pew. And you may wonder why I'm running. <laughs> we are running. We are running to Christ. <laughs> are we? Are we running to Christ? Or are we running from Christ? Which are we doing? I consider you know, myself a Christian. I, I do too, but I don't know if that's what the same thing. They run to Christ peoples may not consider us Christians. Right, but, they may uh, not. You know, they, it's I was baptized. We are talking, well, I, I, I baptized some people last week. Yeah, that's right. true. Um, I saw it. In fact, we'll show you some video of Michael baptizing oh, you somebody video right now. That? Yes, we're going to show it oh, right now. Oh, okay. Wasn't that <laughs> holy? Um, uh, we're talking about, uh, there's a, a channel on YouTube called Run to Christ. It's Run to. Uh, Number two. two. And then Christ. And they... Uh, they made a great video. They did. What's, what's the guy's name? The, the Irish guy? I don't know. Some Irish guy. We don't know his name. But he made this great video about Michael where he basically, I mean, it's like a salvation video where he wants Michael... Uh, to have his soul redeemed, to accept Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior, and to be a born again Christian. And he basically, okay, it, I, I didn't under, it, it's kind of confusing. Um, apparently, this guy, James. Elef James Elephantis, he who owns, is a pizza uh, shop owner in Washington, D.C., tweeted about and, and Michael. Now he owns and he, the pizza shop Comet. That, that is the center of the Pizzagate scandal. Right, so which, there's like something called clever. Pizzagate, which I had to Google because I didn't even know what and it, Pizzagate it, it's was. And it's just so outrageously yeah. insane. And the, this the, the, insane conspiracy theory about this guy, James Oliphantus, who allegedly is the leader of a child molestation and child sacrifice ring. Right. And, and that President Obama is somehow involved and in it. President Clinton too, because they have an email from President Clinton to uh, Hillary Clinton to James talking about um, burying a chicken in the backyard, which and they're saying chicken is a code for a young boy. Uh, I don't know what Hillary Clinton would be burying a young boy in the backyard of the White House, but um, they. And I'm really surprised they did not bring up Claire the chicken. I'm because they brought up every other chicken reference. The chicken they're saying uh, is a reference to a young boy, and Chicken Hawk is a, uh, a child. Right. Reference. So that that's the backstory about Pizzagate. Like I think that this Irish guy though just kind of mentioned it because he wanted to get more clicks on his video. Because well, but, no, but, there is, but there is a connection. But he doesn't go into, like, the, he, all he says is at the beginning of the video that he tweeted that you got out of prison. But then, like, the rest of the video is nothing about, you know, James Oliphant. Well, I think his point, though, was that the, here's this guy who, well, I googled him, it says he's one of the top 50 most influential men in Washington, which is weird. Um, right, pizza shop owner. Yeah, but uh, so he, he just wanted to show what kind of person James Oliphant is. is cheering on you know right so basically the, the <laughs> video is, it's very entertaining you have to watch it it's funny and so uh, can we put a link to it or how do we uh yeah we can put a we'll, something. we'll flash something, something on the screen something. uh and if not you can just google it. <laughs> but uh, some of the things in there are just so insane that i you know but then again you you know when you were young you said all these crazy things that's true so Michael being shocking when he was young said something about like teenage boys. I would say anything, and I still for say attention. almost anything for attention. And in fact, uh, do you remember Rick X? The show was Rick X Closet Case was the name of the show. It was on Manhattan Cable. No, I don't remember it. Um, it was uh, this guy named Rick X who was who it was kind of like a John Norris <laughs> type person. John Norris was an MTV okay. DJ who was preying on all the young boys at Disco Town, and. Um, this guy, Rick X, did, did the same thing. But so you're alleging that John Norris was preying on young boys. I never once saw him praying. Young... <laughs> I saw him He's with praying. <laughs> I saw him with like young guys, but I, there were none of them were underage. Well, under what age? <laughs> under I don't, I don't think I saw him with anybody under the age of 21. Really? Oh, <laughs> I didn't. Okay. All right. Um. Um, but so anyway, this Just guy, saying. this guy Rick X, uh, was similar, only a little bit more lechery because he was older and um, not as ha John Norris was handsome, and so young guys would want to be with him because you know, and he was a VJ on MTV, and he, he had cocaine, and you know, so um, and drink tickets for me. So uh, anyway, but not anymore after this episode. <laughs> <laughs> so um, so anyway, uh, Rick X it had this show called Closet Case. Um, that was on Manhattan Cable, which was like the internet before the internet, you know. And uh, he came to Mars one night, which was the club that I was supposed to direct. 
George Rudolph, and the club had just opened, and he interviewed me in Kyoki for his show, and he, it was a very provocative show, you know, and he said very provocative things, and he says, he asked me, your friend's birthday. How do you find the he asked me, um, uh, Michael, uh, you're a self-proclaimed chicken hawk, right? You go after boys who are 10 years old. Now, I was, I think, 19 at the time of the video, um, and I, I was, kind of shocked that he asked me that question on camera, but I didn't want to look shocked. You have to act like you're okay with it and it's like cool. more, more funny. Right. So I responded and I said, well, 10's a little bit young. I like around 16, 17. So this documentary person takes that clip and 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 just repeat put it on a loop. And it's funny because when we made that video, Rudolph, who was the director of Mars, he was there when we were filming it. and. He, it was around that time that, that the New York Tribune wrote that story about the child pornography party at Tunnel. Remember? Uh, vaguely, yeah. Well, uh, it was something similar happened. I made some flippant comments right. in the article. And Rudolph said, um, you know, these things are very funny among us, um, but you have to make sure, you have to think about uh, whether or not you want to say these comments to people who are not of in our circle, our family, because they don't understand that sense of humor, and they may take it literally, and something like this may come back to bite you in the ass. And here we are in 2017, we are. Well, <laughs> where people also, are taking it literally. Yes, and when I was arrested, actually, uh, initially in 1996, the headline uh, on the uh, the cover story of the New York of the uh, Village Voice was "Inside Alex Brain Drugs Genius Pedophilia," and that's because of that article. Um, where we were poking fun at uh, child pornography, right? We, we had a, it was a date auction at Tunnel where we had um, my friends in cages, in underwear, um, and you could buy them with play money that you would get for buying a drink, you, if you were playing, and then we'd auction them off. And the invitation was taken from the, um, uh, from the cannibal holocaust poster said you know where else but in new york city where life is cheap can you buy these you know cage young right things. and we we acted like they were underage and it was, it was very the aesthetic was like that calvin klein child pornography right. thing and um which we all thought was very funny haha and um the still laughing now <laughs> the new york tribune reporter called me and pretended to be in on the joke and he was like oh that's such a great story who came up with that idea you all alone you know and then he said well what, what about the parents did they know about this i said of course not and the article ends with um when asked if the parents of the children knew what was going on ellie laughed and said of course not we're gonna take a break on that now and now a word from our sponsor. Back to the view. We're still running to Christ. <laughs> or, <laughs> or are we? Or Christ is running from us. <laughs> um, well, anyway, as we were talking in the earlier uh, segment, uh, we were talking about Run to Christ and the Irish guys. Very well produced I thought video so. about you and all the reasons Although why. There's, not, there's nothing you, really new in there. It's, just, it's all kind of. No, it's all archival images, but yeah. he took it all together and produced yeah. it really well. And it was so. I watched the whole thing because I thought it was so well it's done. Called, what's it called? It's called um, uh, um, Letter to Michael Alex, is it? Something like that. It, so, And it basically ends with the guy asking Michael if he's going to repent and become a Christian. Mm -hmm. And what is the answer to that question? I'm already a Christian. Okay. Well, there you go, Irish <laughs> guy. Um, what is it? We don't, why, how come we don't know his name? Um, um, oh, there's so many good things on that. <laughs> so, one of the things that I really liked about the video was that um, he just takes all these out-of-context statements of yours uh, from the past. Right. So, um, 
Like, yeah. you, know, you just basically hang yourself with your own rope. Yeah, I mean, you know... Do, I mean, I know that Michael was just saying these things to be crazy right. because mm -hmm. that's what he does. But uh, nobody else knows that, especially in the not, not the square world. Right. Um, and um, and obviously, I mean, I, to me, when I watch that, I, we're going to show a clip from it or something? Uh, we'll show, I, don't know. We, I think we should show the Rick X thing. But, you know, when I see that, it's obvious that it's a, I mean, it, it's obvious that it's a joke. I mean, it's, it's obvious. Like, it's obvious to you. But how could it not be a joke? Because the Christians read the Bible. No, but how could anybody not? Be, I mean, how could anybody say something like that seriously? I don't know because I think that if you are the type of person that is reading the Bible literally, then you're reading everything else literally too, and every, anything oh, everybody says, yeah, you point. know, is literal to you. Yeah. You know, so like somebody might say something as a joke, but you don't think it's that's a joke. That's such a crazy way to live. I, well, I mean, that's, they're literalists. I, I guess literally, <laughs> because nothing we say is literal. Like, we don't say anything literally. <laughs> right. I mean, all... you pretty much have to take everything that we say as far as yeah. uh, parody or you know just attention whoring yeah I mean how dumb that they don't get that <laughs> they, they're just not into the world of attention whoring what <laughs> they're not they don't understand how unchristian well they don't understand it's not part of their let's world. help them let's help them understand let's show them the light Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the dark light. <laughs> See you next time. Bye.